I'm uh, Massimo Piliucci, the KD Irani Professor of Philosophy at uh, City College of New York. It's aimed at a general public, it's not a technical book in philosophy, and it's really an introduction to the very practical philosophy of Stoicism uh, and how to learn to live a better, more meaningful, uh, more thoughtful uh, life. The book um, has a very strong practical uh, orientation, not only because every chapter is about uh, problems that we all or situations that we all uh, might encounter. It's so not only that the subject matters is practical, but the book actually ends with a special chapter that is a list of practical exercises that people can actually do day, day to day or week to week uh, in order to learn more about stories and how it works. Those challenges are particular examples of the, the general idea that we try to do something and then we may or may not succeed. And, uh, and many people are focused and are obsessed sometimes by the outcome, by the ultimate outcome, without realizing, of course, that the ultimate outcome is not necessarily or not entirely under their control. So let's take an exam, preparation for an exam or preparation for job hunting. Uh, what, what is under my control is, of course, to do the best that I can uh, in order, to, let's say, for the exam to study, to you know, go to lecture, to uh, have discussions with the professor or with other students in order to make sure that I understand uh, the material is as, as, as the best of my possibilities. What is not under my control is what happens on the actual day of the exam. Because there you just sit there, you can simply do what is your, your best under, under, under your control, and then the rest is you let it go. You just go home and you say, well, you know, I did my best. That's, that was my goal. If you switch the goal, if you shift the goal from the external outcome to the internal satisfaction of saying, you know, I've done my best, and then the last the rest is going to be whatever it's going to be. Now, not only are you going to be much more tranquil and serene and accepting of the actual outcome, but very likely you're actually going to succeed or you're going to do uh, really well on it. Uh, this kind of uh, attitude is not a question of just passively accepting what happens in the universe, because I just said you actually try to do your best. It's a question of after you've done your best to realize that there is nothing else for you to do other than wait for the result. Uh, with the serenity, with the uh, confidence that you act, have, have in fact done your best. Well, it's an ancient Greek and Roman philosophy which has a definite practical bent. Uh, there is a little bit of theory, but then it's mostly about practice. And the fundamental things about Stoicism are uh, one concept that is called the dichotomy of control. This is the idea that you have to realize and also internalize uh, the fact that some things are going to be under your control in your life and lots of things are not going to be under your control. And the Stoics uh, said that you should focus on the first one and ignore the last one, the, the latter, as much as possible. This will make you more effective in what you do and it will also um, sort of lead you to a little bit more tranquility and serenity because you'll be accepting what happens uh, even if you can't do anything about it because you know that you can't do anything about it. Uh, the other fundamental concept is that, according to the Stoics, a life worth living is a life of moral integrity. And what they meant by this was that you should behave uh, in a way that is in accordance to four fundamental virtues, which are found not just in uh, Stoicism, but also in other cultural traditions, including Christianity. And these uh, virtues are practical wisdom, which is the ability to navigate complex situations in the best way possible. Courage, not just physical, but also moral, the, the, the idea that you can stand up for what is right under difficult circumstances. Temperance, which is the idea of uh, exercising self-control so that your response to situations is always measured, it's always proportional to the situation itself. And then finally, justice, which is the idea that you should always treat other people with fairness and the way in which you, should be, you want to be treated. In the fall, I'll be teaching a course on uh, philosophy and science fiction. The Department of Philosophy offers this course uh, regularly. Uh, this particular edition is going to be entirely based on Star Trek because it, we just had the 50th anniversary of, of the uh, franchise, and so I figured that's a good way to celebrate it.